Back in the building, man. Season five, man. We back in the building. Of course, with your favorite bearded bros, man. I got angry principal in the building. What's up? Got my man Bo holding it down. I'll see. And of course, man, it's your boy Q. Holding it down live from the 48205, man. Red zone, you know what it is. Got my man Scory in the background too, he chilling. He eat right now, he can't talk. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> we uh we moving right along though. We uh we stand in Kentucky, just still doing some bourbon stuff right here. And now uh, we going to uh Peerless Distilling Company, right? We go read the whole thing, right? Now I I'm gonna be honest with you, before uh before we took this trip to Louisville, I had never heard of Peerless. So I had never drank it or even heard of it. So uh, Angry Principal put me up on game, and we ended up going to the uh, the actual distillery, which was uh, actually pretty interesting. Like, I I learned a lot about the distilling process um, down there. I was asking questions like a real geek and shit. That shit's probably <laughs> weird. White people's looking at me like, why, why does nigga want to know so much? <laughs> <laughs> All right, yeah, we might have to edit that. I don't know. <laughs> no, they were saying it, though. I can see how they was looking. But uh, <laughs> Angry Principal, though, how did you get hit to Peerless? Because like, like I said, I had never heard of it. So walking through, looking, trying to find new bourbons, where we are now, I mm -hmm. saw how much the price was. Right. And it was 125 per bottle. Exactly. So I was like, okay, well, we can do a tour for 20 bucks and get to taste the same <laughs> stuff and see if it's even worth the 125 And gotcha. plus, uh, at the time, it was one of the few that there were openings for uh, tours. Mm. True. When we were was, going down a little bit, most of the places COVID. like Old Forester and other places mm. were completely packed True. Uh, in that area. So Peerless was the one that had a couple openings, so I was able to get us in mm. on that particular opening on that day. And that was, that's the main reason I chose it, because I wanted to see if it was worth that 125 right. that you sure. see up here on the shelves. For sure. So we get down there, we go through the tour, everything was cool, being in their little Makeshift Rick House right there was kind of cool. Yeah, very seeing cool. Seeing the distilling process, seeing how it goes through the chambers and everything and what they're doing. That was, I had a really good time with that. That's dope. And, that, that's, and dope. that's why I said about maybe it was something with the barrels. Like, I know uh, last time we were talking about the Kuiper Belt, uh, some of the barrels had, like, uh, more char inside of them than, than others. And still, like, still the same distillery, but, like, some of the barrels are a little more charred. So I was like, I'm... Again, I hate to go back to the Kuiper Bell shit, but I'm hoping that maybe that was just a bad batch. Anyway, we're back to the Peerless. Go ahead. So we, get, we go through the tour on Peerless and then they take us to the tasting room. So I'm here thinking, all right, good. We're going to be able to taste some actual Peerless bourbon or the rot. Right. Well, no. They pulled the okie doke on us and they were giving us their more experimental stuff. <laughs> like their jasmine and their couple other flavors that they were trying well, we to the good time, shit. We, Which we, was actually good. We did get a shot of rye though. Yep. At the end we, we got did, a shot they of They did give a shot yeah. of rye. Okay. okay. But uh, the jasmine one and a couple other uh, different flavors that they were yeah, having. It was more so of much. their experimental <laughs> stuff that we had at the tasting room but it was actually good enough for me to say alright, let's see how much they're going to sell this bottle in the gift shop. Yep. Mm -hmm. Which, to our surprise, it was seventy bucks and eighty bucks, yep. which is a far cry from one hundred twenty-five. <laughs> Most exactly. definitely, that we saw sure. here. Yeah. And then, like today, I was walking through a spot; they had this same bottle that we we're going to taste today for one hundred thirty-one. Yeah. So just to in in Louisville <laughs> right. at the distillery, eighty bucks. No, seventy bucks. Yeah. Here in the the markup here is up to one hundred thirty one right. sixty dollars markup serious. and looking right outside almost, the store almost one hundred percent markup exactly right, yeah. and right outside the store probably say state minimum <laughs> 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 liars <laughs> package right. liquor here <laughs> right package liquor all right so we all uh, go ahead and uncork this which uh, as you see is already been open <laughs> so you can probably guess if we like it or not because all right let's see if we get a cork pop yeah. a little bit Ooh, a little, 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 little. that's awesome. This is, uh, so again, we went to the uh, to the distillery, uh, tried a, a lot of the different ones, and like I said, none of them were like were too bad. Some of them had like too much flavor in them, though, so it's not, you know, I, I I out of the three of us probably would be the only one that actually likes things that's flavored, but um, even those weren't too bad though, so that was pretty good. And again, I had never heard of it, or like obviously I never tasted it because I never heard of it. But uh, from the reviews that he was giving me before uh, we got to it, I was already interested in trying it to see what it tastes like. And uh, just off rip, I'll tell you this if you've never had it, um, just off of the nose, um, it's, it's pretty obvious that it's gonna be a little bit sweeter. And you know, I got the softer palate if you've been keeping up with us through all these seasons. Uh, you know I like the, the kind of sweeter stuff, so uh, this is definitely a little bit sweeter. Um, but also too, I, I wanna mention, it is, uh, I think Square got the bottle, I think it's 110 proof. 
Yes, sir. Yeah, so it's 110 proof. So it's not it's not no lightweight. I give you that much for sure. Yeah. So off so, the nose, I think it's sweeter. I have had this before, and um, the first time I had it, I was I was kind of surprised actually because I didn't really know much about it. Right. Just kind of picked it up, you know. Well, let me try this one. And I tried it one. I was like, oh, this shit is good. So you know, just kind of take me back. But uh, revisiting it, you know, it's it's a little bit on the sweeter side, like you said, mm -hmm. but. I think what's important about it, you know, because I did a little research on the, on the internet, is, is like the ingredients they use, right? Okay. Everything's fresh, organic, and all that type of shit. Right, they you didn't know? mention that to the yeah. So that, that, that could play, you know, pretty big difference in the taste, but uh, Definitely. yeah, I'm a, I'm a fan. I'm a big I fan mean, of it. Based on the tour, they take this serious. Mm -hmm. they're, yeah, not, they they're not messing around. Mm -hmm. they're I saw not trying to, yeah, the website. They're not yeah. trying to come out with something that's going to make you say, ah, it's all right. <laughs> right they're yeah. really trying to mm -hmm. be distinct, and their price point is definitely distinct when it comes to the secondary once you buy them at stores. Yeah. And I think that because it's not, I think because it's not so like, I guess is a word maybe I use oversaturated or like widespread, I think that helps. I think it's kind of a, uh, for lack of a better term, I think it's kind of like a, a boutique almost, you know? Like it's not a major, it's not like a major, like a Jack Dabs or it's something like that. It's a craft distillery. Yeah, yeah it's, it's craft. Yeah, craft that's the word I'm looking for. I say boutique. You know, you know same thing. Yeah, same, same, same kind of issue though, know? yeah. But um, definitely, I think that if you, even if you don't like um, a sweeter bourbon, I think you'll still appreciate this because of the proof. Uh, so it's it's still strong. Like the the sweetness doesn't take anything from it, and it's not like a it's not a candy sweet. Um, so it's not like you know it's, it's not sugar. like flavored. I'll tell you what though, it brown sugar. It goes excellent with this cigar though. I tell you that. Definitely one. brown sugar. Yeah, I was about to say the cigar even yeah. out a lot for me. You know, because, <laughs> right. You know, yeah, I'm, I'm more of a. I don't know what can I what can I say? I'm more of the. I'm more on the shoe polish side of bourbon, right? I don't, <laughs> I don't like it as you know, sweet and shit. You know, right. I like it. I like it strong and stern. Way more shit, the you know? shoe polish type. Yeah, right? yeah. <laughs> Too funny though. But it's got yeah. that brown sugar and that your stone fruit, so your apple, your pears. Mm. Yeah, it's got that taste to it. Yeah. But then it pairs real good with a cigar. Oh, it, I, it does extremely well with a cigar. I don't yes, extremely. Yeah, so Square, extremely. what you what you thinking, man? I know it's uh, it's not shoe polish, obviously. We, I was gonna say the first thing I thought it smells sweeter. Yeah, definitely. Off definitely it smells so. I kind of thought it was kind of a little bit sweeter as well. Well, it's not like again, like it's not it's not overpowering. So yeah, yeah. But you can tell that they experiment with the fruit because those the experimental the one ones had. that we tasted, they had the lemons, the orange, and all yeah. those other types of fruit right. in it. And they were highlighting those in the actual title of the, the bourbons. Yeah. <laughs> I'm sorry, it was bourbons or whiskey. Whichever bourbon, you yeah, yeah, yeah. Some of them, one was a bourbon, the others were whiskeys. Yeah. Uh, and, and you could tell that they were playing around with the different yeah. fruit tastes. The tastes orange there. one, I ain't gonna lie, the orange one tastes actually pretty good. Yeah. It's, it was flavored. I, I want to say <laughs> maybe it was. Uh, me, I want to say that one was whiskey. I don't think it was bourbon. It might have even been rye. I can't mm. even remember. Like, it was so many. On the sheet, but uh, I did like the orange one because it was a uh, the orange wasn't too overpowering. Okay. Overpowering, and I've never actually tasted an orange flavor in a, in, a, in any liquor, mm -hmm. honestly. So that that was that was nice. So peerless uh, for me was uh, the experience was dope. You know what I'm saying? I think that I think the experience helped like for me and shit. I think that even if I'd have just had it completely out of the bottle without going to the distillery, I, I would still enjoy it. But but the experience going to the distillery did actually help with this as well. Mm -hmm. Just kind of seeing how they did it. I, I've never actually seen the process from beginning to end. And like it's it's so craft or boutique to the point where um, like the people working there, like they actually signing their names on the barrels. So when those barrels go <laughs> around, some of those distillers are still there. They like, you know, basically this is my bottle. You know, like they get mm -hmm. to, they get to like basically have a signature bottle. So that was cool. So that kind of for for me, that put me in the in the mindset, and not to not to compare the, the taste at all, but uh, kind of put me into that Maker's Mark. Uh, you know, the one where they the signature one. So what, what is it? The, it's the one where they had the signatures on it. Uh, what's Maker's Mark? Is that? It's the forty six special reserve or something like that. Yeah. yeah. Everybody like basically you got a signature on those, and I think that kind of put me in that mindset. So it, it makes it makes it seem like it's a little more personal. So that's why I said the experience made it a lot for me. But the taste, the taste is great. Um, it's not now usually when I like sweet, I do I do kind of favor like the vanilla uh, kind of sweetness. This this isn't that. You know what I'm saying? Get, I don't get any vanilla on it. No, that's what I'm saying. It, yeah. it, it, this isn't that. I'm saying I normally favor, yeah. you know, vanilla, and that's probably because of buffalo like you say, Yeah, look at that brown sugar, apples, yeah. pears. Yeah, you know, so yeah, like, you don't uh, get to see that vanilla. Yeah, yeah, no, not at all. And that's why I was surprised that I liked right. it. That's what I'm saying. Because, yeah, my sweetness, I usually like to have that kind of vanilla taste. 
But uh, for me, shit, it's a, it's a go for me, man. Hey, so I got to throw like this, this in there, too, though, real quick, all right? We're not wearing the same shit as last week. We're just doing <laughs> multiple shows in a row, okay? Because I know y'all thinking that. Like, them niggas got on the same thing they had on last week. I actually brought you know? a new shirt, too, just in case. <laughs> <laughs> Since you already said it, I just keep this one up. Because they're like, hey, he really proud to be from Detroit. We had that on last week. Bro, you know what <laughs> No, y'all wildin', man. Hey, <laughs> <laughs> so we go. <laughs> I just want to let y'all know that, you know, that's all. All right, because right, you know people be paying yeah, attention. Yeah, they definitely pay attention. Ugh, what they wear? Right. Uh, now, right. what was cool on the tour is that when they took us to the Rick House, you could see the dates on the different uh, barrels, and I think those were all bottled in 2016. Mm. So they put in some time into actually yeah. aging and stuff, mm. and you're not just getting that uh, real early new make two gotcha. year old stuff Every that light they stuff, tried to yeah. hurt, you know, rush through. <laughs> this actually has some real deep color on it. Mm. And yeah, so it they, they actually put the put some real thought and in, in, in time into the, these okay. bottles. Yeah, definitely. Mm. Um, yeah, it's, it's a go for me. I, I definitely like this. This is one of the uh, honestly, one of the better ones I think we've reviewed in like all of the seasons. This is one of the better ones. It'll, it'll kind of be up there for me uh, with you know some of my favorites. So we'll go around and do a rating in just a second. But I did want um, to say one other thing about um, you know about the the Peerless uh, brand. I didn't. You got the uh, the rye as well, right? Correct. Did you, did you taste that? Uh, I have not cracked it open. Okay. All mm-hmm. right. So yeah, I, I am kind of curious to see what that tastes like. I'm. Because ryes are sometimes a little bit sweeter anyway, and if this is already sweet, I'm kind of curious to see what the rye w- would actually taste like. Because I, I can't really imagine it being sweeter than this, though. So, yeah, so Sounds like a show topic to me. <laughs> <laughs> right, so yeah, we're definitely going to have to check that out next time. Uh, but you know what time it is now, man? It's time to go ahead and give it a rating. So, Anger Principal, what you say, man? All right, so I'm going to bring cost into it again because bourbon can become an expensive endeavor. For sure. So at the price point that we bought it at the distillery at 70 bucks, this is a definite four raised fist for me out of five. Damn. Mm-hmm. I love this stuff. It is really good. It was worth the trip. Yeah. It was worth, uh, you know, where the distillery was. Yeah. In fact, uh, there's supposed to be a uh, black owned uh, cigar bar that's going to open up right next door. Right. They, they the mentioned that. Distillery. They did They were uh, in the process of building at the time we were there, so they should hopefully be open it sometime next month. I forgot so about that. Th- that's going to become start becoming a destination for people to go instead of going across the water. Yeah. They're going to try to keep them in downtown Louisville. Downtown, yeah. So that, hey, that was kind of cool. My, shout my, out my, to my downtown bad, Louisville. My, 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 go ahead, my bad. No, I yes, I said Louisville instead of oh, Louisville. No, 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 like no, no I was about to say that. But at, the, uh, <laughs> at the cigar bar, just to for mess sure. with people. And that's when how we were there. Yeah, we was. Yeah, I was yeah, doing we were just messing with people. But yeah, they're trying to make that little area a destination spot for people to go. So. Uh, hopefully they get that that uh, business off the ground. They were they were telling us to the point where they were talking about the ventilation in there is going to be so that they're sucking all the smoke out. Exactly. So you'll be able to walk out of there without uh, smelling well, like a lot of smoke. Exactly. So they really are putting some money into this. That's so what's up. if it's open when you all go down to Louisville, you know, let us know how it goes. Yeah, and, and for sure. Again, like um, that's going to be another reason for me to go back down there. So uh, we need to check yep. on the dates on that yep. and see because right. I definitely wanted to support. What was you going to say though? Because you was you was about to get hyped about something. What's, oh yeah. What's <laughs> Why are you thinking about shout it? Shout out to somebody. Oh, shout out to Matt Cigar Bar, man. That's oh, my yeah, Matt, yeah, Matt sure. Cigar Bar. But at the, uh, at oh, the shout 100. Shout out to Matt for real. We met some good people out there. Now, at the $131 price point that I, I saw say. today, mm-hmm. my price, my, my rating changes. Yeah. Because I do think you have to bring price mm-hmm. into this yeah. whole equation. So it would drop it down to a three. Uh-huh. Uh, but if it's at the $70 mm-hmm. that we bought it in at, at the distillery, oh, yeah, it's definitely yeah. a four. Now I could I could see you dropping it down a rating because of the pricing, but I, I would the difference between this and the Kuiper Belt I will say is that at 130 I would buy it again. Like I I'd be hesitant, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But if I had 130 to, you know extra, I'm I'm going to get it. Now with the Kuiper Belt, I'm not ever spending that 110 again. But anyway, uh, <laughs> back to back to you, Bo. What you say? What's your rating, bro? Very similar to uh, Angry Principal. Um, if it's at that 70, 80, 85 dollar price point. Yeah, I think it's a solid, you know, I give it a solid three and a half, four fifths, you know. Um, but at that $130 price point, yeah. you know, we, we talking about three fifths maybe, you know, at tops. Yeah. You know, sure. um, I don't know. I, I, I definitely like it. But if yeah. I'm, I'm going to spend 130 I can think about some other bourbons, Wellers, you know, being one and, you know, a couple others out there, you know, and you get into the Scotch, Oban, right. that I'd rather spend. Even Blends. Yeah, I mean, yeah, you know, you can find Blends for a little cheaper in some yeah. places, but, you know, uh, I'm gonna spend that amount of money. Typically, I'm gonna go there. 
Yeah. But if it is, like this is definitely, you know, fire. Yeah, it, it's, <laughs> it's fire. let me say this, it's in the rotation. For sure. It's in the rotation. No doubt. I agree with that, dog. I think that uh, I think we all probably in agreement on this with the four fist. Um, four, four is a uh, is high for me because you know I don't really I don't do a lot of fours and four and a halves you know, unless it's you know uh, Uncle Nears. But uh, yeah, I don't do a lot of fours. So yeah, this is definitely good. Again, for me, is it was a plus off rip because off the nose I, I recognized the sweetness in it and I was already sold at that point even before I tasted it. So. Uh, definitely a strong four for me at the 130. Again, it, it, I'm I'm in agreement with these guys. It, it would drop the rating, but I mean, because I because I haven't had, I you know what, I have never had Wellers. So at this point, I would I would spend a 130 on this because mm -hmm. I ain't because I ain't hip. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? I haven't had Wellers yet, so I would spend it again. I'd be a little hesitant, but I would spend it again though. Um, but yeah, I think it's a solid four across the board. Uh, Square, what you say, bro? I think a four piece sounds nice. Dude. Just based off of the the tastings that I had, like I know four is high, but it's I didn't pay for it, so like <laughs> that comes for a lot, right? <laughs> yes. 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 right. You know, well, you know, <laughs> rewind a little bit, take it back to Kuiper Belt. You know that, well, not at that price point, but if I can find it for a cheaper price point, that's something that I keep around the house for like people, you know, relatives that might drop by that I don't really want to. You don't want to be there that long or something like that, you know what I mean? Or, like, yeah, y'all can have some of this. Scare your way. Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 Oh, he's serving that cheap. Or, <laughs> or at, at, at the very least, like I said, if it's around 40 or $50 at the at the very least, it's a conversation piece. Like, hey, you know, it's E40 shit, you know, it's yeah, a but conversation like, piece. But like Peerless, this might be some shit, like if I had people over that just like, yeah, the relatives or some shit, like, yeah. Yeah, that'd be shit i put away, yeah. you know? <laughs> like, no, y'all can't handle this. Y'all can drink this. This is your office, all right? Like, my good shit, I would put away. Like, this would be yeah. one of those bottles I'd put away. Yeah, we got ducked you know? it off. If you're trying to impress somebody, that's a bottle to go with. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. If you're trying to impress somebody, somebody yeah. yeah, yeah, definitely. Sure. Yeah, or but for like, something. yeah, but for them, like, them two bit ass uh, relatives and shit, like, <laughs> no. Two bit ass you know. relatives. Yeah. On that note, man, we gonna slide out of here, dog. <laughs> and get ready for our next episode, man. Again, thank everybody for checking us out, man. Uh, make sure that you do uh, check out uh, Peerless. If you're in the Michigan area, be aware that the price is going to be, you know, pretty high up there. Uh, in Kentucky, obviously, it's going to be around $70 or $80, so it's a better price point. Uh, wherever you are, though, go ahead and give it a shot, and uh, we actually do recommend this one. Uh, till the next time, though, man, we go finish drinking and do some more drinking. Uh, <laughs> come on, man, Angry Principal holding it down. Drink what you like, how you like. You got Square in the building. Yes, sir. My man Bo holding it down. I'll show you. And of course, man, it's your boy Q Lewis holding it down live from the 48205, man. Peace out, y'all.